Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on opening a Word document using Microsoft Excel. So I have here some fictitious data in an Excel workbook. And you can see it has an ID number and then some scores, GPA, pretest, aptitude test, and final exam. So say in counseling research, this is the data that we'll be working with. And for each participant, we have a document name, and let's just say that the document came first. So we have a document that has all this data about the participant. Now in this particular example, uh, I have this document, this Word document, it contains all the data about the participant. But let's say that uh, oftentimes in counseling research, a document like this would have a lot of different reports copied into it. And we may only be extracting certain variables for our study, but it's convenient to reference the original document in case we're looking at the data and we want something additional or something in the data doesn't look quite right and we just want to verify uh, that variable score from the original document. So I've constructed a user form that allows you to open this document from Excel. And it's linked to this blue rectangle. So if you click here, whatever document you have selected uh, comes up in this text box. And you just click Open Document. And it opens a Word document that has in this case, the same data, as I mentioned, but has the data for that particular ID. So you can see this is ID 1001, and then all the corresponding values. Now, of course, I constructed this by copying from Excel into Word. Uh, but in counseling research, in working with actual data, we'd have this document first, or a series of these types of documents, and we'd build our data set from that. So I want to show you how. I built this user form. So first I'm going to start by putting another rectangle up that will open our new user form. All right, so it's just insert and shapes and rectangle and just to avoid confusing the two rectangles I'm going to make this one orange instead of blue. And then uh, Alt F11 that'll open the editor and you can see I have the code for this other user form. But I'm going to create a new user form here, which is insert user form. You can see this one is named user form 2. I'm going to keep that. But I'm going to change the caption and make it the same. It'll be open word document. And the only thing you need on this particular user form is you need a command button. All right, and I'll call it, I'll leave it command button one will be the name of it, but the caption I'll call open document. And then we need a text box as well. I like to see the name of the selected document uh, before I click open. And just to make this a little bit easier to uh, read, I'm going to change the background color, the back color property here of the user form. The other one is green. I'm going to change this one to maybe a little bit darker blue. There. Just stands out a little more. The objects just stand out a little more instead of using that gray background. So now we have a user form that we can open. So I'm going to go to Sheet 1, open this code. And as you can see, I have the code for the other document already in there. And the new subroutine I'm going to create to open this is going to be very similar. I'm just going to call it Open Document 2. So it doesn't have the same name as the other subroutine. And in this case, it's just going to be User Form dot show, and then we need to link 
that orange rectangle to that. And that's just uh, right click assign macro. You can see it's open document and then open document two. So now if I click here, the new user form I just created comes up. Of course, it's not going to work yet because I haven't put any code behind it, but you can see this is how you display it. So moving back to the code view and then moving back to the user form, uh, the first thing I, I want to happen is when this user form opens, I want this text box to, to equal the value of the active cell. So you select the file that you want to open uh, from the Excel worksheet, whichever file it is, and then you click the orange rectangle and you want the text box to have that value in it. So that's fairly straightforward. Double click here uh, on the user form and I'm going to add an initialize. Right, so this initialize subroutine will run, the code in here will run every time the user form is initialized. So this would be uh, text box one value equals the active cell value. All right, so we'll test this out. If I go to the workbook, and let's say I select ID 1008. I'd hope that would appear, and it does. It's in the text box as it should be. So moving back to code view, now I want to be able to press this button, the open document button, and I want the document to open, the document that's displayed in the text box. So I'm going to double click on open document and there's a few things we need to do to automate a word document from Excel. So first I want to set the word application, right? So I'm going to set a variable. I'm just going to call this word app and we need to create the object. So it's create object and then is parenthesis and then quotation and then this is just a word application, so it's word.application. Another quotation mark in parentheses. And so now that we have that, we're going to have word app documents dot open. So this is where you would put the path to where your file is located. Right, so this is the path of the file that you want to open, the path of the Word document. So you can do this uh, by finding the actual path and uh, putting in quotation marks and typing it all out. But there's another way that may be a little more convenient. If you're storing these Word documents in the same location as the Excel workbook that you're using, this workbook. You can use uh, kind of a shortcut called this workbook dot path. So that will start this path with the path that your current workbook is saved in. So this is a real time saver. So we know that uh, after this we're going to want a slash. We're going to put that in quotes and then we're going to want the name of the actual Word document we want to open. And then we know that's going to be equal to text box one value because we've already loaded text box one uh, in the initialize subroutine. Now you might remember text, bo text box one value is just ID, a space, and then four numbers. Right, so we know we're going to need to add something to this as well. And that's the suffix, which in this case is dot doc x. It's a Word document. And that would be the correct path corresponding to the Word document. 
So hit enter. And then we need to make this uh, visible. So it's going to be word app. And we're going to set visible to true. So let's see how this works out. We'll go back to the workbook and let's select, say, uh, the ninth participant here, 1009. So we want to open this Word document using our new user form. You see it populates correctly. And when I click open, it opens up and it has the information for this user, 1009. And it has the scores. And you can see they match the scores from the Excel workbook. So if we were to close that, close this, say we want to try uh, 17, right? So we'll go to ID 1017. We want this information. You see it correctly populates. And there's the information for participant 1017. So using a user form like this and automating Word from Excel is a convenient way to access the raw data that you use to construct a database without having to continually go back to the folder where it's stored and try to find uh, the right ID. You can have it all right here. You just have to create a variable with the name of the file. And with one user form and a few lines of code, you can save a lot of time and be efficient. I hope you found this video on opening a Word document from Microsoft Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.